All right, guys. Uh, welcome to uh, Weight of Hunter. Uh, I managed to sneak in to this horde, and this mission is a difficult one. And some of you might uh, really uh, struggle with this unless you kill a lot of deers unnecessarily. It's called deer management, so you need to harvest five mule deers with fit fitness less than 40%. How do you find out what the fitness is? You won't. Because your, your binos will not tell you. Uh, you need to find a horde and uh, how to find out which one is a low fitness male. Uh, it could be either this one, even though he's a two star, and it could be this one. Oh, they just spotted me. I need to go from. I think they can smell me. So, um, we're gonna put out our grunting call, caller. Uh, I already leveled it up. I'll let you know uh, you can only attract the females on the first level. And if you level it up, you can attract low fitness males. And this is what we're looking for. So, I'm just gonna give it a call. Let's see if any of the bugs will respond to this. switch to binos this one is not responding at all this one is looking but I don't know if he's low fitness if they don't respond it's usually both are high fitness so note the, the notice the the little slide bar and the little slider I like to wait uh, until it reaches the middle of it I believe that's the strongest point but uh, I still need to test this The pack uh, spotted me and they are kind of afraid, so it might not work here. Let's see if any of the males will actually uh, start to come towards me. If not, you need to find another pack, uh, do it a little more. Uh, Quietly, not like me, uh, not so close. You can sneak up on them uh, if you use the control button while moving like this, very slow, and you stay in the tall grass. You can sneak up on them within like 100 meters, no problem. So it looks like uh, this bag didn't have any low fitness males. There is another pack right here, which is 200 meters out. So let's find out. Uh, we can get a little closer. I need to stay approached. I disengaged the uh, control. There are a couple of uh, adults. I think it's a different pack. Mostly. Sure, though. They all been drinking, so you're in a good spot. Even though the the wind is not very uh, good, it's blowing towards the animals, so we need to be careful. I'd like to close the distance, like within like 150 meters. And this is the beauty of the game: do not rush your shots. Pick a right spot. I was kind of rushing this video, so I would possibly get to the other side and try to get the shot from like here. So let's see if we can sneak up on that pack slowly but surely. I don't know where did they go exactly. I think they are in their little dip where the river is flowing. So yeah. Our hunter senses are on. We have the perk while moving, we can uh, see, so we don't have to constantly switch. And I could already hear some branches uh, breaking. 
this could be a good or even a bad uh, thing so I'm just gonna switch to the slow pace while hitting the control key and let's see the wind is really terrible right here I think they're gonna smell me again so I need to do it quick I need to get to the little elevated point where I can at least see them. Yeah, they're definitely in the valley. Okay, let's try to move over here a little bit. They haven't spoke yet, so that's good because you would hear it. Okay, this is a white tail deer. They also came to drink. So that's good. The space is really uh, slow, so you need to be very patient. But if I switch to the regular walking, they might hear me. So all the progress will, would be lost. You can even see the little route they take. Okay, mule deer 150. This is what we're aiming. This is what we need. There is the properly the horde. It's about 150 meters. That's very good. So I can try to close the distance and get on this ridge line. To at least have a little view. The more we moving to the left, the better for us, because the wind is blowing to the side, not directly at them. But still, don't forget uh, you leaving a, a huge trail, as you can see, the purple thing. I don't know if you can see it properly. There is a little purple smoke behind your character, and this is exactly where you're getting your, your, your scent is blowing to. So it's blowing right here, and if they are right here, that's good. So the more we get to the left, the better. Uh, I would really, uh, I would really prefer to switch to the regular walking, but I cannot afford it right now. You see, that is 100 meters. It's a male. So he might get spooked soon. Oh, let's give it a shot. Now the ideal position will be this uh, little hunting tower. It's, uh, it will be perfect. Well, let's see what we can see. There you go. You see, they can see me, so I go prone. I let them do this shit. Their shit. Yeah, they're looking and smelling me. So my they might actually move away from that spot. Trying to get a little closer. Just tiny little bit. So I can they see them. There you go, they are spooked. Okay. So now we can go crouch. They shouldn't move very far away. At least according to my knowledge. But that was the wind. So you can see the, the sand is actually working. As it should be. I think they uh, move to the right. Somewhere here. Yeah, that's them. I think. Yeah, that's them. Okay, now it's much easier for me because they, as they move to the right. So let's see if we can uh, 
the wind is now very good although there is a white tail thing in our way you see so let's pretend this is a this is a mule deer pack and we wanna kill it, it works just the same uh, for mule deer so this is a white tail pack and we wanna kill the low low fitness male as you can see there is a lot of males there is no way so let's apply our method we are very close actually so attracts low fitness males let's give it a shot and let's see if any of the males will start to uh, walk towards me and if he does he's a low fitness one let's watch the other pack they might also get you see this male started to come towards me right here and that's brilliant even though he's a two star and he's got a quite a big rack he's a low fitness as you can see from all these deers there is only one from both packs that started to walk towards me and that's a low fitness one so this is how you find out that's a low fitness and he stopped and immediately as he stopped you need to call again Otherwise, he's gonna turn around and get back, back to this uh, to his pack. See, and he keeps walking. And there is another another one. See, they are still getting attracted. There are two low fitness males right there. They might be here too, but only these two responded. So I'm just gonna take my shot. Don't forget the the deer management mission. It needs to be under 40%. Are they going to stop again? Call. I'm going to call back. Okay, voice. This is a perfect example how it works. So he's 150. You can either take a shot right here or wait for him to stop. And what I do is I wait for the animal to stop. Okay, this is what this is this one you see he's gonna stop soon so I'm gonna aim to 150 About. this one has a pretty nice rack even though he's a low fitness one Let's see if we can lay down it's a little better oh, now he stopped now we aim for his heart take the shot and I think he got it there's no way he can survive this. So now we're gonna watch them. We're gonna watch, watch, watch. Now he went here. Okay. He didn't drop on a spot, so that's pretty good. I think uh, we did a very good job. So. We're gonna check the blood if we see any. Uh, by the way, it's not good to shoot the animal when he's in the water, somewhere close to the, uh, uh, somewhere close to the um, uh, feeding point or all these uh, needs need zones, because it's uh, very often you don't see the splash anything like here. See, I shot him right here. Luckily, it was the uh, edge of the, the thing. And it's a pink blood. It's a medium one. By the way, I like to always place the marker right next to the, uh, the shot. You can uh, hold the, uh, the X button. You place the blue marker. You can place as many as you can, as you want. And I placed another one where I saw him running, so I don't have to track the tracks all the way from, from there to here. And now we're just going to focus... Uh... Oh, look. What a coincidence. There is another pack right here. So you can repeat the process again. So, let's see. 
you can uh, find uh, the blood. Okay. He was running this way to rejoin his pack, so he should be close by. He's gonna stand up, which I normally don't do. But in this case, to speed up the process of the video, I will. So, we saw him last here. The pack moved over there. So this is usually where they, where they like to run. So we just need to find uh, another one right here, as you can see. Okay. See, it's nicely flashing. It's a medium shot. I wouldn't bother with a bad shot to track the animal. And you can see it's a nicely highlighted right here. Just need to wait a couple of seconds. And you can just follow the track. You don't need no gun no more because the animal is dead. So once you lose the track, just wait a couple of seconds. It's going to highlight again. So we'll keep moving. Even through the bushes everywhere. The game doesn't have a collision uh, through the bushes because it would be like in uh, like uh, in like Call of the Wild because it would be hard to get around the bush. So this is our buck. So let's see if uh, I was right. If the caller works, uh, he should be low uh, genes animal. So let's find out. Yeah, and uh, from the front you always uh, hit the arteries. There is like a, a little joint of arteries, so you always uh, hit one. It was a nice shot. Artery, right lung. Um, Anybody didn't drop on the spot, but it was pretty good. So let's see. Oh, you see? The gene was quite low. 38%, uh, which would actually... Um, which would actually uh, finish, uh, I mean, uh, help you with that mission. Uh, where do I see it? Your management. Okay, you need to be on uh, less than 40%, so that would be ideal. Yep. So, yep, this animal is low. You want to shoot these guys? Uh, for your pack to get stronger, you need to just uh, leave the high genes uh, animal in your pack. Make sure you have uh, even numbers of males and females to keep some balance, uh, not to have uh, enough pieces. And the new ones will grow, and uh, yeah, and the new ones will be the the sons of. Uh, of these strong uh, gene guys so there is a huge possibility he will grow up in a five star and uh, yeah this one cannot move any further because he's uh, at the uh, the last point of his uh, life so he's not gonna be any bigger anyway so yeah so you just sell it and the one of the guys is done and now uh, how do you s you level the caller uh, when you purchase the deer caller, um, you're gonna have only this uh, option when you put it in your mouth uh, by right clicking. It says uh, attracts only females. So what you have to do is uh, you have to, uh, uh, when you look at the strategist, you need to uh, sell. So it means kill first and then sell uh, 10, uh, 10 females. I uh, did uh, choose the mature ones, the mature ones, because uh, they were the, you know, the old ones. I never really shoot the young ones, and uh, so I, I, this method I use for 10, 10 different, uh, 10 different uh, females. I kill them, make sure they are under the, the call uh, attraction, uh, so it doesn't run out of time the caller and I kill them I sell them and uh, now I have like uh, 25 animals already so that's pretty good so soon I'm gonna unlock the last perk which will uh, be the 
the perfect um, uh, it will uh, it will uh, I, I will be able to uh, to uh, do the third level so I'll be able to uh, call the uh, mature guys so yeah so that's the mission guys uh, once you unlock the uh, the once you kill 10 females then you can scroll your mouse wheel and it you get this okay so this is how it works hope it helps everybody uh, this is how the fitness uh, low fitness uh, at least deers in this case uh, are found and uh, good luck hunting guys take care